This was the Sunday School lesson on May the 26th. I was on vacation, but I'll record it now. It comes from Daniel in the Old Testament, chapter 1. We had talked about the city of Jerusalem being destroyed and the people being carried off as captives. And now, um, King Nebuchadnezzar, who was the king of Babylon, decided he was going to pull some of the... Um, handsome young boys who were of royal royal royalty from the from the king's family in Jerusalem and put them in a special school for three years. He um, said, I will feed you the best food from my table and I will feed you the best wine that I drink and I will teach you language and literature for three years, and then I'll give you a test. And if you are smart and strong and brave, I will make you be my servants and work for me in the government. So among the four people that he chose were a man named, a young boy named Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. They were four young Jewish boys who were chosen to be in this special school. And they came to the first meal, and Daniel, Daniel, whose new name is Belteshazzar, looked at the food and said, I can't do it. I can't eat this stuff. This is stuff that God's word says that we cannot eat as Jews. I can't eat this, and I can't drink your wine. And the guy that was in charge of the school said, you have got to do it. He said, because otherwise the king is going to find you so weak and sick that I'm going to be in trouble. And when Daniel said that he would do the thing, then Azariah, Hananiah, and Mishael, whose new names are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they said, well, Daniel, if you're going to stand up and do the right thing, then we're going to do the right thing too. We won't eat it either. And so Daniel said, give us a test for 10 days. We just want to eat vegetables and water. And at the end of the 10 days, see if we look healthy or not. See if we're still strong and still smart. And so they gave him a test and they passed the test. So for the next three years, those four guys only ate vegetables and drank water. And at the end of the three years, they were found to be the smartest, and the strongest, and even Daniel could interpret dreams. And they went right away to work for the king of Babylon, whose name is Nebuchadnezzar. And the memory verse was Acts 5.29, we must obey God rather than men. Let's pray. Dear Lord, there are lots of times that you ask us to stand up and be the leader. And when you ask us to do that, then the other kids might follow and do the right thing too. Help us, O oh Lord, to lead well. Help us to always choose to obey you. In Jesus' name, amen.